Hello. How is everybody doing on this fabulous Friday? It's humid out. My hair wants to curl. Oh well. Casual Friday. Mm. And pop on, say hi. Get closer here. How's everybody doing? If you don't know me, my name is Paula Julson, and I go as Paula the Makeup Lady. This is my business page. I also have a YouTube page and a Pinterest page. So please follow me if you would like to be notified of all my lives when I go live. All right, so like in the description today, I'm wearing kind of a little, I don't know, peachy, corally frock today. Got my new paparazzi jewelry I got from Christine Springer on. And I'm just going to do a little simple yet feminine look today using our Splurge Cream Shadows. Now, I've already got my foundation on and I did a little bit of the concealer, just a little bit. Um, but I did my brows using our brown color Faithful. It's a matte color. It's really, really easy to use. It goes on as a cream, and it really sticks to your brows, okay? And to help it, I set it with my setting spray, all right? Now, we do have a darker brown than this. This is like a medium brown. We do have a dark brown. It's um, called Proud, if you're a darker brunette, or you like your eyebrows a little darker. Excuse me, I got a call. All right, so everything is like splurge cream shadow today. And I've used this many times. Bittersweet. I love this color. It's going to match perfectly with my outfit. And it's kind of a, a peachy pink. Okay. And I'm just going to put that all over my brow using a flat brush. Let me see. You got to have kind of a short bristled flat brush to use our splurge cream shadows. Here we go. This one will do. This is from e.l.f. You can get it at Walmart. And I'm just going to dig into there. Okay. And I'm going to go all over the lid and I'm gonna go all the way up to the brow area normally I leave the brow I need I leave a little space up there for highlight but today since it's just since bleh, since it's such a light color I'm gonna go all the way up I've been going to bed early. Getting a good night's sleep. All kinds of energy today. Running around like a crazy person all morning here getting stuff done. All right. Let's see how light, light a color that is. It's very, very pretty. I love it. And I'll do this eye. And you can use this as a base color too, like before you put your pressed shadows on. I do that a lot too. Sorry for the faces. I'm looking into my phone like a mirror. 
and I can't help it. I just got to make faces. All right. Does anybody have any fun plans for the weekend? I seen on Facebook there's quite a few weddings. Hope it doesn't rain out. To tell you the truth, I think we have enough rain to last us for a while. My son, he's in Hawaii with my daughter-in-law, and I'm scared to death. They're hunkered down. Hurricane, is it Lane? But he's on a military base, so I think he's pretty safe. All right. So I have bittersweet all over the lid area. Now these are available in a set. Whenever you go on my website, look for the sets. Let me pin my website for you. Sorry, I should have did that earlier. There you go. So I pinned my website, so at any time during this video, you can just tap on there, and it'll take you right to my free, unique website. And you go to shop, and then there's categories. There's eyes, lips, face, fragrance, tools for all our brushes, skin care. Um, go to eyes, and then search for our splurge cream shadows. But scroll all the way down, and you'll see eye sets. That's what you want. You can get three of these in any color that you want for $70. Okay? And what I what I would do, I'm not saying that you should do it, but I've been using our Magnificent Black, it's a matte black splurge cream shadow as eyeliner. It goes on like butter. Okay? And it stays on. Just use a liner brush. Um, let me see. I've got all kinds of liner brushes, but just because I want to find one, I'm not going to find one. Something like this, something angled like this, and use it as eyeliner. Seriously, it's good stuff. But you can get a black as liner, and then you can get a couple colors for your eyes, or you can get the brown. For your brows so you'll have something for your brows something for your eyeliner and then pick out a color and you're set and they last a long long time got something on my desk all right so I got the base color bittersweet on so now I'm going I haven't used this this is the color elegant it's got a little sparkle to it and it's kind of a nude color. And I'm going to put that on my lid area. I'm just going to press it on. And I think I'm just going to use the same brush. And I'm going to dig in there. Just a little sparkle is all I want on my lid. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid area. And as you can see, we're just doing a plain little delicate look today. Nothing too dramatic. And it's a cream shadow, so you have to spread it around very gently and get down by your lashes. Now if this was a powder, since it's a shimmer, I would just press it on. But since it's a cream when you put it on, you have to spread it around. See how pretty that is? Pretty, pretty. See? Now I'm going to do the other eye. Spread it around. 
just on the lid area. And these are buildable, so you can just keep adding until you're satisfied. Put a little more on there. And smooth it out. And this is why you need a little stiffer brush. If I use the blending brush to do this, I wouldn't be able to smooth it all out. But once it's dry, you can blend it. But we don't need to blend it because it's on our lid. If it was in the crease area, then we would blend it. But normally with like a sparkle um, shadow, I would just use this on the lid or maybe as a little highlight up under here. And now you can kind of pat it in there. Okay, isn't that pretty? It's just real delicate. See how nice that looks? Nice. Okay, and I'm going to wipe off my brush. Now I do want a little shadow in the outer corner crease. So I gotta try to find something here. Something, maybe it's something pink. Something a little pink. I'm a looking. Here we go. I think I found it. And I think what I'm going to do just for a little color is I'm going to pop a little hesitant. It's like a pink color. I'm going to pop that in the crease area. And I am going to use a crease brush, but I'm going to use a smaller one like this. And I'm going to kind of tap that color in there. Now we want it to be a delicate look. We don't want anything brassy. So this is why I'm going with this pink color. This is a matte. It's called Hesitant. And it's a matte, kind of like dusty rose. And I'm just, I'm not really blending it. I'm just kind of tapping it in there. Just in the crease area. For a little color. This would be pretty for like a bride look. Just tap, tap, tap. Just above the crease area or in the crease area. You don't want to get, you don't want to get it on your lid. You can kind of blend up here. But I wouldn't blend down here because you might disturb that elegant. Just tap, tap, tap. Okay. All right. Add a little more over here. Oh, 
Okay. All right. So I have hesitant tapped in the crease area. So now I am going to just very lightly up here and in the corner. I'm not disturbing the lid. I'm going to go back and forth and just kind of soften that up a little bit. See how pretty that looks? Very, very nice. So, so far I have bittersweet cream shadow all over the lid and then I applied our cream shadow elegant on just the lid area and then I popped a little bit of our pressed shadow in hesitant which is a delicate matte pink in the crease area and see how pretty that is very nice okay so the only thing I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop a little highlight up under the brow area like I always do I'm going to clean off my brush here and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to use our pressed um, powdered luminizer in the color iridescent it's the lightest color you can get and I'm going to go up under the brow Okay, like so. And I'm going to go over here under this one. Kind of come down a little. Brighten up. The darker your shadow is on the inside of your eye, the closer together your eyes are going to look. And if you want your eyes to kind of look bright and open, pop a little of this on the inside of your eye. Right here in the corner too. And it just kind of brightens up that dark space there. Okay? See? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Real feminine look we have going so far. All right. So then as stated, this is fine like this, but I have to bring a little color underneath the eye cuz that's just that's just me what I like to do. So I thought this little, sorry. Whimsical. It's this real pretty blue color. I thought I'd use that as liner underneath the eye. But first I'm going to add the rest of my face. Like I'm going to add my contour, my blush, my blending powder, and then I'm going to apply that pretty blue cream shadow and whimsical underneath my lower lashes. Just for a little pop of color. Okay? Alright, so let's do some contouring. And let's see. Just gonna use this little fluffy brush here. This is the color Hermosa. We have two other colors available. And I'm gonna start in the middle of my cheek. And I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna go up the side here and kind of drag it into my hairline. And I'm blending all of this out with my blending um, powder my setting powder. Right now I'm just kind of applying the color. Okay, and it's leaving this kind of more noticeable, my cheeks. I don't have chiseled out cheekbones. So I kind of like to make it look like I do. It's just smoke and mirrors, people. Smoke and mirrors. Now I have bangs, 
but I like to add a little color up along the hairline and make sure you draw it in to your hairline. Now if you have a really really high forehead this is what helps camouflage that. Okay, Crazy bang lady here. Out of control today. It's raining. Got a little humidity and right away my hair wants to curl. Get all crazy looking. Okay. All right. Whatever. <laughs> and then don't forget to get under here. Now I have kind of a long chin. So I kind of want to shorten it up. And then drag it down. Hide all of this in the shadows. And again, we're going to blend all this out using my setting powder. Okay. Let's see, it's adding shadow. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of making my face more interesting to look at, I guess you could say. Instead of all the same color, I got all these shadows going on. All right? Beachfront bronzer, the easiest thing in the world to use contouring. I did order a contour stick. We have a contour stick. It's got highlight or cover up, I guess, um, on one end. And then it's got a darker color that you can use to contour. It's a cream comes in a stick and once I receive that I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. Okay, so now I want to pop a little color on my cheeks. So I'm going to use my pressed powder and I'm just going to tap that on. Just on the front here. Okay, so now I'm going to use our setting powder to blend everything together. Good stuff. It's translucent, so it's not going to add any more color to your face. It's going to kind of smooth out what's on there and just help everything blend together. And it's going to help it stay on. And get up here. Okay. I have that on and you can see it looks much better once it's all blended out so then now I'm going to add that whimsical underneath my eyes for a little pop color see how pretty that is feeling a little whimsical on this Friday and I'm just gonna use it's like a liner brush I guess or it's an angled brush now this has a little sparkle in it, and I'm just going to dig in there and get my brush coated, okay? And then I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to kind of just come down under my eye for a little color. And I'm looking in my phone. which makes it harder to do. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to add a little eyeliner on top. I think I'm just going to add my Epic Mascara. See how pretty this is? You can use this as a liner very easily. 
You can use any of our shadows as liner, actually. Even our pressed powders, all you have to do is dampen your brush with our setting spray. And then you can dip into a powder. And use it as liner. Try not to stick myself in the eye. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. So now if you wanted to, you could smoke it out a little. Just kind of soften that up a little bit under there using your blending brush. Smoke it out. I like that. I like it. I don't know if I should add this on top or not. Maybe just a little bit. Just along the lash line. And I'm just kind of pressing it in as I go. See, that adds a little something, I guess. Don't be afraid to try new things. Your face is your canvas. Kind of a little whimsical look, hence the name whimsical. Not pretty. And you can go as dark as you want, as light as you want. Just make sure it's all smoothed out on your brush, or you're going to get clumps. You don't want clumps. Really pretty. See? Really pretty stuff. Splurge cream shadows, people. Really, really good stuff. Alright, so now let's finish our eyes using our Epic Mascara. Greatest mascara ever. And I am going to use a mirror. And I'm just going to. I have nothing on my lashes. I used my. My lash serum that you can get on my website. They suggest using it twice a day. I just use it at night when I wash my face or sometimes in the morning when I wash my face. And I'm going to apply two coats. And we do have Epic Waterproof Mascara now too. It only comes in black, but our original, some shadow 
down here. But our original um, water resistant Epic Mascara, that's available in black and brown now. So if you want a more natural look, oh no! Not to worry, not to worry. Just use a spoolie and scratch it off. I always do this. Never fails. You think as many times as I put on mascara, I would learn not to do that, but not the case. I'm just a real person putting on my makeup for work. <laughs> I just happen to be doing it in front of a bunch of people. Okay. And a good suggestion is never pump. No matter what mascara you're using, don't pump it because air gets in there and it dries out quicker. Just kind of roll it around, okay? And then you can scrape a little off. Just add a little bit at a time. Mailman just left me something. Hopefully it's my Z palette that I got for my eyeshadow. You see how pretty that is? I really like that look. A little sparkle, a little color. Are you seeing those lashes? I had nothing on my lashes. Are you seeing this? Nice. Sometimes when you don't add black eyeliner, it allows your lashes to pop. You can actually see how long they are. Very, very nice. I like it. See? Good mascara, people. $24. You can get it in black. You can get it in brown. And now you can get it in black waterproof. Good, good stuff. And don't forget our lash serum. That's good stuff also. Okay. So now I want to add a little highlight. And today I think I'm going to add a little of this cream that I have. It's in the color Benevolent. It's kind of a little rose gold look. And I'm just going to dot it on. And then I'm going to kind of blend it out with a sponge. Now you can add this cream highlight to your foundation for a little extra glow. And I'm just applying it. I'll tap it out with my sponge. Put a little here, put a little here. Just anywhere you want a little sparkle when the light hits your face. Okay. So now we're just going to tap it out. Let me find a halfway decent looking one here. And again, this is a cream or a liquid highlight in the color Benevolent. 
Now, I don't know if this color is still available or not. But we do have our creamed powder in the same thing. And that goes on really good also. Just rub it on, kind of blend it out. Actually, my finger works better than the sponge. Sometimes your finger is the best tool you have. You got them for a reason, I guess, right? See, you got a little subtle shine. It's a little healthy looking glow going there. All right. So now that I'm all done with everything on my face, except my lips, I am going to set everything with a setting spray. It goes on as a fine mist. It doesn't dry sticky and it dries instantly. Let me clean up here. So for the lips, I think I'm going to stick with that really like pink delicate look. And this is our new color. Um, this is soft hearted. It's between a pink and a nude color. I don't know if it's available yet to purchase under lips, but it was introduced last month and if you spent $125 on my website, they threw it in for free. So I'm going to use this today. And it is a matte. Now this is not a stain. This is a liquid lipstick. So it will come off. When you eat or smoke or drink. But other than that, it stays on pretty good. And once it's dry, you can add a little of our lip gloss or our lip hottie to it. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Nice. And you could also, if you wanted to, you could probably outline your lips. I know we have a little lip liner pouty. Let's see. I should have did it first because you're not going to see it now. It's just a little nude. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's just a nude liner. I want my lips to look bigger, so I'm kind of cheating. And I'm going a little bit above. See, like so. I was not blessed with an upper lip, that's for sure. Little shadow. Kind of makes your lip look fuller under there with the shadow. Alright. Okay. We have all kinds of lip liners, we have all kinds of eyeliners. You gotta take a look on my website. 
good, good products. And if you want more product for your money, look under the sets. You're going to get more makeup. And we also have collections. Now, our collections, they are going out of um, stock. And with our collections, all except the beachfront um, kiss collection, you'll actually get a bag, but it'll be gold like this. But it'll be gold. But this, you'll get a bag like this. It comes with a big, heavy gold chain for a strap. Yeah, you can use this as a clutch or as a purse. It's got pockets in there. All our collections um, come with a bag. Okay, so look for collections. And we're throwing in a free product. So when you purchase a certain collection, you're going to get that bag, and then it shows the free product they are going to send you with the collection. And when they're gone, they're gone. We're going to have new collections coming out. So please, look at the collections on my website. You'll get a free bag and a free um, makeup product, along with all the other stuff that you purchase. A lot of good deals on my website, so check it out, people. And anything $100 or more, you're going to get free shipping. Okay? That's just automatic. So to recap what I have for today. Today, I went all over the eye area using my favorite splurge cream shadow bittersweet it's a real light peachy um, pink color and I went all over the lid area with that all the way up to the brow okay and then what I did is I added elegant which is this soft nude shimmer I put that all over the lid area all right and then for a little shadow, and I didn't want anything too, too bright, I used this matte pink hesitant. And I just took a crease brush and I just tapped it. I really didn't blend it back and forth. I just tapped it in there. And it adhered really well because I had that bittersweet all over as base okay and then I popped a little highlight our powdered luminizer in iridescent I popped that up under the brow and then as a liner today I used whimsical it's another one of our cream shadows in the blue and I see I got some on my lashes. Can't have that. Okay? And I just use a liner brush. Goes on as a cream, so it went on really, really smooth. Okay? And then I just use my Epic Mascara. Two coats of that. Alright? So that's my look for today. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment or private message me and I will get right back to you, I promise. All right. Have a super Friday. Be safe in whatever you do this weekend. I don't know if I'll come on tomorrow or not. Sunday for sure. Tomorrow's pretty busy. I got a lot going on. But have a safe weekend. And talk to you later. Bye-bye.